Along with displaying the genome sequence, shown at the top of the genome browser image, the genome browser also allows us to view various tracks aligned with the genome sequence in the lower portion of the browser image. A track is a visual representation of a data set related to the genome sequence above it. Tracks can show data from diverse data sets such as gene predictions, mRNA or RNA-seq expression data, sequence similarity to other organisms, and information about repeats and variation associated with a certain region of the genome. Depending on the researcher's goals, it is often helpful to display only a subset of the available evidence tracks. You can control the display mode of each track through the drop-down lists at the bottom of the genome browser page. For example, the tracks that show sequence similarity to other organisms and the gene models from different gene predictors are available under the Genes and Gene Prediction Tracks category. Each track has up to five display modes. For example, if we click on the drop-down list for the Base Position track, the first track under the Mapping and Sequencing Tracks category, we can change the display to one of the three display modes available, Hide, Dense, or Full. In contrast, if we click on the drop-down list for the Gap track, we will see the five display modes that are available, Hide, Dense, Squish, Pack, and Full. To better understand how the display modes affect the genome browser image, we will experiment with the different display settings for the DML proteins track. Scroll down to the Genes and Gene Prediction Tracks category, change the display mode for the DML proteins track to Hide, and then click on the Refresh button. Hide means this particular track will not be shown at all. Now we will change the display mode for the DML proteins track to Dense and then hit Refresh. Dense means the selected track is displayed with all features collapsed into a single line, irrespective of whether there are overlapping features. In this case, you can see that all the features in the DML proteins track are shown in one line. This mode is useful for reducing the amount of space used by a track when you don't need to access the individual items or when you just want to get an overall view of the distribution of the features along the genomic region of interest. Let's now change the display mode for the DML proteins track to full. We see that there are many more features in the DML proteins section of the genome browser image. That is because the full display option shows each annotation feature on a separate line. Because this display mode may result in an overwhelming number of items, it should only be used when you are examining a small genomic region. To reduce the height of the genome browser image, we can change the display mode for the DML proteins track to PAC. In PAC mode, the track is displayed with each annotation feature shown separately and labeled, but overlapping features are shown on separate lines. Hence, this display mode offers a good compromise between the dense and full display modes. The final display mode, Squish, is similar to Pack mode, but each feature is shown at half the height of the features in Pack mode. This allows the genome browser image to show more data per inch of screen height. This display mode is particularly useful for high-density data tracks, such as displaying all of the RNA-seq reads that have been mapped to a genomic region.